Alright guys, I'm doing a quick tutorial for the Pokemon bot that everyone has been asking me about. Go ahead and make a folder, name it whatever you want, this is where you're going to put the file that I have in the description. So, I have it right here as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and extract here. Alright, now that you've extracted it, go inside the folder and run the execute file. Alright, it's going to ask you to press a key and boom. Now we're at the next screen configuration screen. So the first thing you want to do is go to the auth. Open the auth file and this is where you're going to punch in your account information. Now I'm using a Pokemon Trainer Club account so I'll switch to PCC. Because I'm not using a Google account you want to go ahead and put null so that it knows not to log in and it bypasses that. Next up you're going to put in the information. I'll use the account that I created for this. important make sure you have these quotations on the outside of your account name and password all right and make sure that after the null you have this comma here uh, it could screw it up if you don't have the comma so after you have your account set up like this go ahead and save it close it and at this point you could run the bot and it'll log in and it will start moving. I'll do as told. Now a few more things, important things to touch up on. Go back into configuration, go to config. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to change the movement speed. The movement speed that it's set at right now is 50 kilometers an hour, it's way too fast. So you can go anywhere between 10 to 20 kilometers an hour is a general walking and jogging speed. I prefer to keep mine right around 18. Really it's to avoid soft bands of any sort from moving too quickly. If you want to input certain coordinates you can go ahead and google them and this is where you would put in your latitude and longitude for uh, who knows Times Square, California, wherever you want. You go ahead and put that here. All right. From this point on, you could start the bot and it'll do things. Sniping is turned off right now, especially since how hot the hard bands have been coming on with all the snipers. So from there, you can very much just save it. Go back, run it. The bot's on. Now every time you log in, it's going to show the latitude and longitude that you input. It's going to show your highest CP Pokemon, and it's going to show the perfect or the closest to the perfect IV Pokemon stats that you have in your possession for example right mine right now is just this Caterpie because that's all it has and uh, it's at 14% IV you could go up to 100% uh, the, right now the boss generally set at keeping extremely high IV and extremely high uh, CP Pokemon as it would be a waste of time to keep a bunch of junk It'll save up all your candies, it won't use any eggs until you tell it to. All that information can be accessed in the config. If there's anything in specific you want, you can go ahead and alter that right here. For example, if I want to hold more great balls, you can go ahead and tell it to hold more great balls. <laughs> you, all you gotta do is change the numbers here. I hope this tutorial is helpful, and uh, be sure to subscribe. Thanks guys.